Today's video is partially sponsored by Outs. Outs is a growing general store, providing essential items for those out active. Their featured item, this rechargeable lighter. In case you run out of fuel, keep this around and it will solve your problem. It's windproof and comes with waterproof protection in case it gets wet. Get your rechargeable lighter. The price has dropped to $14, links in the description. Not going to waste any time in between, let's get into the story. The Trinitarios is a gang based primarily in New York, although it now has offshoots in other states. The Trinitarios was founded by individuals from the Dominican Republic. The name Trinitarios derives from La Trinitaria, which in turn refers to the three men considered the founding fathers of the Dominican Republic, Duarte, Sanchez, and Mela. DSM. These three men's initials has become a common symbol for the Trinitarios. Another common symbol is DPL, which stands for Dios, God, Patria, Country, and Liberted, Liberty. The Trinitarios' colors are red, blue, and white, the colors of the Dominican Republic flag, and lime green. Within the Trinitarios are various chapters, each of which has to be approved by the Trinitario leadership. Sunset is one such Trinitario chapter, named for its founding location, Sunset Park, in Brooklyn. Sunset controls territory in the Bronx, Manhattan, and Brooklyn, amongst other places. For a period, Ediberto Santana, aka, Flaco Venemo was the leader of Sunset. Every chapter of the Trinitarios has at least three leadership positions. La Primera, meaning, the first, makes all final decisions. La Segunda, the second, acts as a counselor to La Primera and carries out La Primera's orders. And La Tercerta, the third, is generally considered the fixer and enforcer. Like the Trinitarios more generally, Sunset has a structured hierarchy, although Santana has modified it slightly from the Trinitario norm. During Santana's reign, he has always held the La Primera position, although Santana is referred to as La Suprema of Sunset. Because Santana referred to himself as La Suprema, the two positions immediately below him are often referred to as La Primera and La Segunda, although technically these are the second and third positions. Over time, Santana created additional subsets of Sunset, first based on geography, and then some simply with different names, including OTG, Original Trinitario Gangster. Each of these subsets was led by a Primera, Segunda, and Tercerta. Two subsets also had additional specialized positions such as Segurited, Security, and Disciplina, Discipline. Soldiers were the members with no titles, at the bottom of the hierarchy. The leadership of each of these subsets ultimately answered to Santana. As a Trinitario set, Sunset's rivals have included Dominicans Don't Play, the Latin Kings, and the Crips. However, Sunset also had intra-Trinitario rivalries with other sets including Bad Boys, A-Town, Al Clan, and Las Shures. Even within Sunset, the nomenclature varies sometimes, if someone holds more than one position. These disputes were born at least in part out of dislike and distrust of Santana by rival Trinitario set's leaders. Sunset members regularly went on missions, armed hunts for rival gang members, or even for individuals who had offended the Sunset leadership in some way. Sunset members are required to memorize a set of rules when they join. They must also report to regular meetings, where they are required to pay dues. Members must follow leaders' orders. Failure to follow the rules and or orders can result in punishment, including violent punishment. For example, if a member does not pay his dues, he gets a violation, which means being hit three times in the ribs and paying double the dues at the next meeting. If a member does not attend a meeting, he must have an excuse, if not, he gets a physical, which means 27 punches to the ribs. If someone is given the green light, he is subject to violence by members of Sunset. If Sunset members see the target, they are required to use violence against him. The level of violence includes everything from a beating to murder, members are generally told what kind of green light has been authorized. Sunset members are involved in a panoply of crimes, including murder, assault, robbery, drug dealing, firearms possession, mail and wire fraud, and identity theft. On or about March 11, 2013, Dennis Marquez was murdered in the vicinity of East 166th Street and 3rd Avenue. Jeremy Rodriguez, part of the Trinitarios gang, confronted Dennis Marquez at a house party in Morrisania and demanded to know what gang the 16-year-old was in. Marquez, who had moved to the city from the Dominican Republic just a few months prior, allegedly had no ties to any gang. When Marquez tried to escape, Rodriguez, 22, of Soundview, and Victor Mina, 24, jumped him and stabbed him to death. 
Allegedly, the members of Sunset were acting on Santana's orders, believing Marquez was a DDP member, Dominicans don't play. In 2013, there was shooting outside a barbershop on Jerome Avenue, during which a Sunset member, acting at Santana's direction, shot at members of the Crips. Miguel Genau, a.k.a. Sombra, was hit with racketeering conspiracy, arising out of his participation in the Sunset Trinitarios. As a member of the charged racketeering conspiracy, Genau committed two attempted murders and an armed robbery. On or about August 11, 2013, Genau went with Sunset members to the vicinity of 182nd Street and Ryer Avenue to collect a debt owed to the leader of Sunset, Edoberto Santana, a.k.a. Flaco Veneno. Genau was armed with a gun, and during the course of collecting the debt, he brandished the gun and discharged it at the victim. On or about October 3, 2013, Genau traveled with Sunset members to the vicinity of 134th Street and Broadway in Manhattan to carry out a mission ordered by Santana. Specifically, it was to find and shoot members of the rival gang DDP gang. Genau was armed with a gun, which he used to shoot at suspected DDP members, two of whom suffered graze wounds. A couple of weeks, a murder would take place. Michael Belter, a popular high school student, was shot in the face while running errands. Belter had arrived from the Dominican Republic two years prior with his family, settling in the Tremont neighborhood. He was killed in front of 2622 Jerome Avenue, just several blocks from the Kingsbridge Armory and across the street from St. James Park. The area, a mix of stores and residential apartment buildings, is normally bustling during the daylight hours. Evening hours often attract prostitution along neighboring Davison Avenue and drug deals in St. James Park. Initially, a former Trinitario witness provided the street names of the two individuals. Bueno and Guerra. Guerra is Carlos Ramirez, another high-ranking member. He claimed they walked out of the McDonald's restaurant with Belter moments before he was shot and killed. However, when this witness was shown a photo of Carlos Ramirez from a set book, he stated that he did not know his name or gang affiliation. From 2013 to 2016, the NYPD and the Bronx DA's office investigated the Belter murder and arrested and indicted Bueno. Carlos Ramirez was never brought in for questioning or prosecuted, despite being in custody since 2014 on a different matter. The murder would eventually get dismissed against Bueno. Later Ramirez would end up being charged in 2020. It was learned, the witness claimed to have been threatened into silence by Genoa and Santana shortly following the Belter murder. He would be threatened by Bueno as well. In or about 2013, a home invasion robbery in New Jersey conducted by Santana and other Sunset members. The residents of the home were believed to have a large quantity of cash in the house. Members of the robbery crew were armed, including with a gun and a knife. As the robbery crew was breaking into the house, one of the victims arrived home. The robbery crew forced the victim to unlock the door to the house. Genau was once again armed with a loaded gun. Genau brandished the gun in order to subdue a resident who was tied up, his hands bound, and his eyes taped shut. The robbery was abandoned however, when the Sunset crew became concerned that another resident was in the house or entered the house and was possibly armed. In addition to these acts, on November 17, 2013, the gun-toting Genau was hanging out with members of Sunset when he shot and killed Rafael Alam. It happened around Jerome Avenue and 174th Street in the Bronx. Alam and two friends had stopped to buy food from a food truck. Genau and members of Sunset were already at the food truck. A misunderstanding led Genau and various Sunset members to descend on Alam's car, attacking Alam and the other occupants. Genau fired his gun, shooting and killing a lamb. He would get 15 years' as imprisonment for this alone. On or about November 2, 2014, in the wee hours, a teenager was shot to death during a party at a University Heights apartment building. Jordan Correa, 19, was at 2316 Loring Place, near West Fordham Road, minutes after midnight when Carlos Ramirez, also 19 at the time, repeatedly shot him in the torso, Ramirez, who had been at the party some time before, left but returned to shoot Correa. Allegedly, it was in retaliation for an assault of Ramirez's brother, who had spoken out against other Trinitarios who wanted to kick Sunset out. In or about the summer of 2018, a mission in Brooklyn ordered by Santana to rob someone of marijuana. Santana ordered a member of Sunset to provide him with a gun for this mission. 
There were missions ordered by Santana to hunt for members of rival gangs, including a mission in Brooklyn during which Santana and other Sunset members assaulted members of the Latin Kings, and a mission to Coney Island to look for DDPs who had assaulted Santana. There was also a lot of scamming going on. Members of Sunset stole mail from public mailboxes. Any checks that were obtained were washed, filled out with differing payees and values, and then cashed at banks or check cashing locations. If money orders were obtained, they were cashed. Angel Crispin was another member. He and his crew were doing their own thing as well under the Sunset banner. He was arrested by federal law enforcement on April 19, 2019. This was following his participation in an attempted armed drug robbery. In the preceding weeks, Crispin had helped plan what he believed would be the robbery of kilogram quantities of heroin or cocaine from drug dealers. During a meeting recorded by a confidential source, Crispin said, in substance and in part, that he would shoot the targets if any of them resisted, and that he would take responsibility for getting a car to use in the robbery. During another meeting recorded by a confidential source, Crispin stated that he had experience committing these types of robberies, and knew what to do if the victims resisted. Crispin further stated that he would beat the victims into submission if necessary. Upon further discussion, Crispin indicated that the use of at least two guns was required for this robbery. During another meeting recorded by a confidential source, Crispin again asked whether the targets would be armed, to which a confidential source replied that they would. Crispin then made a phone call to an unknown male, and told the unknown male that Crispin would be by later to pick up a gun. Ultimately, Crispin and six other individuals were arrested on the verge of carrying out the planned robbery. One individual was wearing a bulletproof vest, and two individuals were carrying loaded firearms. In or about 2017, he was elevated to La Primera of Sunset in the Bronx. Crispin has engaged in and ordered various violent crimes as a member and then leader of Sunset, including robberies, assaults, slashings, shootings, and attempted murder. These crimes include the following. In or about 2011, Crispin participated in a mission to shoot at a rival Trinitario set. Luckily, no one was in fact shot during the mission. In 2013, Crispin and other Sunset members robbed an individual of a neck chain, cut the victim with a knife, and threatened the victim with a firearm. In or about February 2013, Crispin and other Sunset members assaulted a perceived member of the Latin Kings and Queens using a cane. Crispin pled guilty to second-degree assault and was sentenced to three years as imprisonment. In or about October 2013, Crispin participated in a retaliatory slashing. Crispin pled guilty in 2014 to attempted first-degree assault and was sentenced to five years as probation. In or about October 2018, Crispin ordered that a member of the Crip Street Gang be killed in retaliation for another shooting. A Sunset member, armed with a gun, was sent to do the shooting and shot the victim in the leg. The victim survived. In 2019, Crispin helped plan what he believed would be the robbery of kilogram quantities of heroin or cocaine. That's the attempt robbery he was arrested for. But this about wraps it up. This was a look into the Trinitarios. Of course there are other members who we didn't mention that participated in the crimes. The ones we did mention were more outstanding for this story. But as always, stay low and thanks for watching.